Monday, says you. I feel a change in the wind, says I. All right, kitty, I'm following. What's up? All right, let's go look. It's lunchtime now. I put the chicken on and you were waiting on me. So what's the problem? Okay. What's the problem? Can't get to your food? You really gotta use to your foot at some point. That? Is that what you want? No? Treats? Oh, okay. Treats. Okay. Here we go, kitty. Come here, I got a few. Alright, kitty. Little piggy pig. This is what you want. You can chew it. Good. Now you won't chew that probably. Didn't think so. Here's another one. Okay, have one more small. Oh yes, chew it, chew it. One more. Here. Alright, kitty. Is that to your satisfaction? I'm sure you would like more, but I can't give you any more until later, alright? You'll get more treats later. Okay. What a pig. Okay, so yesterday, Sunday, is wash day. Hold on. Is wash day. Did not wash. Did not wash my hair. I decided uh, I didn't want to. So I didn't. And since I am at a point in my hair care routine that my hair is healthy, well, the stuff that's not bleached, that my hair is healthy, I don't need to have, I don't need to stick strictly to that wash day schedule. I can wash my hair as long as it's once a week and not every day or every other day. So like if I had washed my hair on Friday, we wouldn't need to wash my hair on Sunday. Anyway, uh, I will need to wash my hair because your girl's scalp itches. Dang it. These glit glasses, these earrings are cool, but they get stuck in my hair super easy. Okay, cool beans. Um, yeah, so I put some chicken on the stove. Just makes chicken and veggies. Now we have a new um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, over by our house. It's like a block away. Well, not really. It's um, it's a few blocks, but still. If I were to walk, it would take probably 15 minutes to get there. If I were to walk, so it's not that far. Um, anyway, Russ went there, which is where we get our veggies from, because it's a dollar, and it's just frozen veggies, so I don't want to pay more than a dollar for frozen veggies. Ugh. Anywho, he said they didn't have that many there, and I'm thinking it's probably because they are a new location, and so maybe they don't know how much stock they need for that. Now, he could have gone to the other location and got more from there, but which is also not very far from uh, Walmart where he went also. He will go to many different locations when grocery shopping, which is not always a bad thing. Because, you know, different places have different prices. And some places are better to get things from than others, like frozen veggies. So, like, if we go... So, he went to uh, the Dollar General. He went to Walmart. And he went to... Um, and he went to... Uh, Woodman's. So, he went to all three places... And I'm like, you didn't, you didn't need to go to all of them. 
but I guess, I mean, there are some places, like I would not get all of my produce from Walmart. They tend to have not the best produce. So I would go to like Wal Woodman's for that or something. Ouch. All these is is good. That's the other place, not Woodman's. He went to Aldi. So he went to Aldi, he went to Walmart. Wait, what did I say? He went to Aldi, he went to Walmart. And there was a third place he went to. It had to be Woodman's because those are the only places. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um so I'm just going to detangle. That's the whole point of this video. Is to tell you that you don't have to wash your hair every day. Or on the cycle. If your hair is already healthy. And where you want it to be. Your natural hair. You can. Sometimes it's just easier to stick with a routine. But it's not going to hurt too bad. If you skip it. A day or two in your detangling cycle. It takes a little longer to detangle if you skip it, but hey, you know, you do what you gotta do. Yesterday I did nothing, and you know what I had to do? Nothing! I didn't have to do anything. Now on Saturday, Russ and I decided that or we got an invite to one of his buddies thingies. So we went out and that was fun times. We uh, danced, we ended up at the Crucible, which is the dance club. And uh, yeah, so that was fun. Um, the music wasn't the best that I like to dance to, but it was fine. Um, we didn't really dance anyway. We talked a lot with his buddies and stuff. It's like, he goes to networking events. Networking is basically the adult version of play dates. They just go and they talk about their businesses and um, they talk about life and just everything whatever they just talk that's how that's how adults make friends these days is they go to networking events networking event sounds like a multi-level marketing scam thing but it's not it's just talking with people and sometimes people do have businesses of their own you know maybe they're an accountant or they're a business manager uh, or they run an etsy shop or something you want to, they want to get their name out to, um, to, um, you know, <laughs> spread the word of their business. Everybody's got their own businesses these days. I feel like, you know, maybe that's just the circles we're in. So I feel like a lot of people we know own their own business. Like I know someone, used to know somebody up in Minnesota who ran their own um, massage therapy place, like actual massage, not adult massage therapy, okay? Get your head out of the gutter. Then uh, stuff like that. And I don't run a business, but I try to sell my own artwork. Well, I'm not really advertising, I guess. It's just kind of... I don't really advertise, I just have it there, you know, but people can buy my art if they want. So I noticed at the Crucible, <coughs> well I didn't just notice, but at the Crucible they sell people's artwork. And I'm wondering, because I'm looking at it and I'm like, this one looks exactly like one I did, and I put a... Uh, comparison picture <coughs> excuse me on my Facebook and I'm like it 
The difference is mine looks like it has dragons, but theirs is just, it's a, like a paint pour thing. But they're selling theirs, it's smaller, and it's like $100. Mine is bigger, and it's $35. Mine's way cheaper. So I think they charge, Crucible must charge to keep your artwork up. Um, if I think I would sell it, then I would do it. But I think because I don't think my art would get sold, because I think my art won't get sold, it's probably why I don't put my work out anywhere else. Uh, I'm going to try Facebook Marketplace. Um, and perhaps... Perhaps I can sell it through Facebook Marketplace. So if I try that instead of, because I have my own page called Jealous Arts. It's one word, J-E-L-L-I-S-A-R-T-S, -L -L Jealous Arts. And uh, you can find the page on Facebook. <clears throat> And you can buy through there, or you can message me direct. You know? Anyway. Um. I have to get online because I'm trying to set up the messaging, and for some reason the messaging, doing it through the phone is like an error is always occurring. So, if I do it on the computer, oh, God. Oh, it feels good. Anyway, if I do it on the computer... Might work. All right, go check in my chicken. Two thousand years later. I've ordered a few things from Amazon. I got a package. I don't know what's in this one, so let's go find out. Right. Put you in here because this is the best place to put you. Best lighting, whatever. Can I open this? No. That tab did nothing. There we go. Alright. Aha, I got a new shirt. I'm going to try that on. Did it come with something? No. And. Woo! There's three things in here. What's this? I think this is another shirt or dress. And okay, so this is a new swimsuit. Yeah, so I've got a swimsuit, shirt, and two shirts, or is it a shirt and dress? Let's try them on. First things first, swimsuit. Oh, I think it's cute. There, see, I got a swimsuit. It's got this belly peekaboo moment. If I want to extend this, I just have to untie and widen it. It's got, it's just a one piece swimsuit. I think it's cute. It's like a dress. This would be something I would wear just out because I can. Well, I would probably. It, yeah, I would. I think I would. Just like outside for no reason. Like wear my swimsuit. This is my new swimsuit. This is my new swimsuit. This is my swimsuit. Yeah, swimsuit. Okay, let's see on the other things. Okay, now this next item I actually had to put on clothing for. And it's very loose and very flowy, so it makes me feel very comfortable. Uh, the bra I put on is wrong for this shirt. So this is the shirt. I think it's cute. It's comfortable. The pants are just jeans, you know. But I didn't know this here is lace. Look at If I can get to it. The little lace. Well, there's, it's got clothing, like a layer of fabric there, but right here, 
this lace kind of overlay thing there it's just very comfortable i would wear like leggings with this i like comfortable and it's soft so that's nice too um this bit could be lower not that low but <laughs> low enough anyway um but other than that i like it it's comfortable on the arms i just it's comfortable yes you can see a theme here happening sunflowers i just put my swimsuit away Sunflowers on swimsuits, sunflowers on this shirt. Also, like I said, very comfortable. It looks like it needs to be a little ironed or something, but comfortable, oversized, baggy. Here, this is how oversized it is. I can't, like this is my waist right here. It goes in here, you know, over here. I am not real I you know it's lumpy sack of lumpy mashed potatoes okay that's my body type what is your body type my body type is mashed potatoes people like mashed potatoes okay I'm trying to be very I'm trying to build up my own body confidence that's what's happening here okay so you get some new clothes try them on I like this I would wear this with shorts because I'm good on my legs now. Because I did a whole year of wearing like shorts and stuff. Okay, last item. All right, last item is a dress. So, you know, sans jeans. Looks like this. It's a cold shoulder moment. Problem I have here, this is a very big cold shoulder. I got the size. Here's the problem I have as a plus size girl. Uh, I would have a different bra on for sure. And this needs to be more supportive. This is big. I got this a bigger size, which is probably why I have this problem here. The cold shoulder bit, very, uh, open. I like it. Dress is nice. You know, the fabric is odd i'm not really sure what fabric this is i like this whole bit down here it's just very flowy and ooh, look at my leg you know kind of thing i like that it's asymmetrical it's got it's like a handkerchief i wish i had pockets i do not have pockets uh dresses should have pockets so anyways i don't know what this fabric is here, if you can see, it's really, really texturized. It is not stretchy at all, in the slightest at all. Not at all. Different bra required. Definitely a different bra. Um, I might even wear it like a t-shirt or something underneath so that it's, it's smooths. So like something that goes from here to down here or something. You know, anyway, uh, that's what I would do. It's, um, I like, I like the dress. It's nice. It's very light, very summery, summer dress. So you put on like some cute flippy floppies and, and this is the dress. Hey, I just noticed that it's like after 10 o'clock, 10.05. Anyway, so, uh, it's bedtime, past bedtime. I had, um, I have this wine. I tried, it's a sweet red, oh, Jesus. What's it by? Barefoot. Oh, it's in the fridge. I don't know, Barefoot something, Barefoot is the brand. Sweet red something something. Anywho, I like it. But today, um, I added ginger ale into it normally i would do like make a wine spritzer using sprite or seven up or something but we don't have that hi kitty oh i'm sorry i'm moving back and forth and she doesn't like it anyway um uh, we didn't have that so i mean like i with the ginger ale it's actually really tasty the reason i did red wine tonight was because um, we had steak for dinner. Um, 
but steak with uh, some cheesy, cheesy bacon mashed potatoes. And um, I marinated, not marinated, I basted the, the um, meat. Yes, meow? Well, we are. We're going to go to bed, okay? I basted the meat in um, a garlic butter uh, brown sugar bourbon. No, what was it? Let me find the seasoning. This is the seasoning right here. Yeah, brown sugar bourbon. Yep. So, the brown sugar bourbon. And I mixed this in with melted butter and garlic salt. Um, the kind of garlic salt we use is this one. Lowry's. So this garlic salt with parsley. So yeah, so that's what we use. Um, extra flavor, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's very delicious. So I put all that together, basted our meats, and we went, ate that, and I gotta pee. Do you know where my water is? Do you want, kitty? Do you know where my water is? Okay, let's go upstairs. All right, go upstairs. Go on upstairs, we'll get some treats. I know that's what you want, some treats. Man, oh man, one of these days, I will clean this floor. Mm. Treats, 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 treats. Okay, let me grab some treats. Four, we get five. All right, you ready, cheats? All right, come on. Come on, kitty. Come on. Oh, yep. See, here's my water. I got treats. No treats, they're up here. Come on. <laughs> so gentle you are. So gentle. I've seen dogs be gentle, but kitty. All right, you're gonna have to work for this one. Oop. Can you get this one? There you go, kitty. All right, meow, meow. Look at this. Look at this. This is all matted fur. And eventually, it will come off. <sighs> People are, like, concerned. They're like, it's so matted and she shouldn't be mad. Like, it's going to come off. It's still kind of, like, wintry. All right. Well, anyways, like I was saying, it is um past bedtime. So... Tomorrow is Tuesday. We may or may not have tacos. Usually we have some kind of taco or Mexican food related dinner. Um, anyway. Good night. Toodles.